what we can then do is we're now going to look at how we can select an existing feature. So um, for this example, we might say that uh, we want to um, build on an ancient woodland site and we want to know what constraints exist on a particular area. So I'm going to go into my find it and this time I'm going to say I want to select a feature. We can select um, our ancient woodland um, information by clicking on it. And what it will do once it's found it, it presents us with the um, the layer and then an attribute name. So I'm going to click on that data set. You see it highlights that particular polygon. And then when we click search, again, you'll see that this time we've got a number of different layers that are returned for us. So this time we, we are uh, within our district council layer. We've got ancient woodland, which you would expect. Uh, we've got a green spaces layer, which is a public park or garden. And then we've got a special protection area again. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the results. And I'm going to say that I want to download that PDF. So this one is, um, we're going to call this choose feature. <clears throat> and once it's created, we can click to open that PDF of interest. And once it's opened, again, we can see the site's constraints um, front page. Uh, but then what we'll get is more details. So we'll get the district council this time. We'll find the ancient woodland and we've got the theme ID along with the number, uh, the status of it. We've got the contact. Uh, we've got all the information that relates to ancient woodlands and the public parks and gardens. And then we've got our special protection areas at the end before we get to the end of the report.